piece of quartz. Now I managed to find this piece of quartz out on walk the other day and I brought it back because there was some water trapped in it. And I just thought it would be a nice thing to try and show you uh, the water that's trapped in it. I'm actually just trying to find it. I've got a feeling that it may have evaporated out of the crystal. So it was on one of these facets. And what happened was the water was creating a nice refraction inside here, a rainbow of sorts. And I want, to, I want to show you a rainbow. Today's a good day for a rainbow. And since we don't have one in the sky, I thought I'd find one for you in this rock. Now, <clears throat> for the ladies out there, or mainly for the men buying ladies some presents, quartz as a rock with water in it, uh, is quite common. It's mined in Australia extensively as a mineral called opal or as a, as, a, as a precious stone called an opal. When you know, when you see an opal in your jewelry store, it's nothing more than a piece of quartz with water that's actually trapped in the crystal matrix and is refracting light out of it, which gives it all those fantastic colors. And it happens just to be my favorite semi-precious stone. I enjoy it. I enjoy good looking opals actually more than I enjoy diamonds as well. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. We 